And now uh, here at Fighting Spirit Wrestling, we have some of the greatest talents from all over the world. Japan, Mexico, Italy, Puerto Rico. Uh, we don't have anyone from England except for Mr. Balls, but uh, chalk that one up for the team, as it were. I, I think that's pretty much all we can take, Wesley. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, well, there you see Sumi Sakai. Sumi Sakai, the Japanese female competitor, of course, a former mixed martial arts competitor as well. Absolutely. Uh, Miss Sakai, quite a terror in, in the squared circle. We know what she can do. We, she's done it all over the world. And she's here in Brooklyn tonight, ladies and gentlemen, to put it on display in the squared circle. An unbelievable ladies match here for Fighting Spear Wrestling. Kill them all. Sumi Sakai looks ready for action. She certainly does, and here comes her opponent. And she's quite uh, focused there in the ring, walking around, stalking the squared circle, to put on the ring generalship as she's known to do once the match starts. treated by some songs by the Japanese boys choir. Oh, that's a catchy tune, wouldn't you say, Dyson? It's on my iPod, always on repeat. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, quite a delayed uh, entrance here. Okay, on the way to the ring here, this will be some match up, ladies and gentlemen, it'll be unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Two uh, massive talents in the ring, all the ladies. Kamora is not intimidated by any of these fans or by Sumi Sukai. Well, Kyoko, of course, another Japanese competitor on her way to the ring, making Sumi Sakai wait. Absolutely, the psychological tactics uh, have started here and we love to see the Japanese wrestlers, some of the greatest wrestlers in the world, uh, hail from Japan, a wonderful place. It certainly is. We love Japan here at FSW. Uh, we love it in England too, but uh, they bloody rebelled against us and pushed us back from their uh, expansion, as it were, in the East. Audience members are anxious for this match to start, which they should be. Absolutely. And I've not seen a wrestler bringing a, a, a bottle of liquid into the ring here. She looks quite uh, relaxed there. Well, she's got a great outfit. Both of these ladies do. They look very flashy tonight. I wonder what's in that bottle. Maybe I should go in there, up in there and sneak something. Look at these fans. They're assuming she has some kind of foreign object in her hair. That's Well, that's, the referee has to check everything, right. including the hair. I think that's a violation of her, of her civil rights. Right. Sumi Sakai pointing uh, to our ref Ozzy here. And the bell's rung, ladies and gentlemen. The auction will ensue here. Ladies and gentlemen, now that the opening bell has rung, I want to give everybody a formal introduction here. We are at FSW, Only the Strong. Once again, I am the ace, Dante Jace, along with Wesley Bowles and Dyson Steranko. And we've got a great event here tonight, but Wesley, you look a little bit nervous. Why, why is that? Absolutely, I'm nervous because uh, Fighting Spear Wrestling apparently are uh, under investigation uh, by the New York State Athletic Commission. Uh, and if they find out a bit too much about Wesley Bulls, they may deport him. Oh, no. And the only card I have to play shame. is perhaps speaking uh, to Mr. Steranko, who's close mates with Donald Trump, if he becomes president of the United States, perhaps uh, he can uh, pardon me as a well. well, I hope that you don't get deported, Wesley. That would be terrible. 
absolutely would be one of the most devastating things ever happened to me in my life. I'm sure Trump could make it happen, you can say in this country, but I hope you like cleaning hotel rooms. Yeah. Well, right now in the ring, we have, of course, Sumi Sakai getting her hair pulled by Kyoko. And I spoke to both of these ladies earlier as much as I could get out of them because, of course, they speak Japanese. Ooh. But they were telling me that they've known each other for a long time, but this is the first time that they've actually wrestled each other in the ring. So they're very familiar with each other, but this is the first time they're actually going at it in physical combat. Right now, Kyogo is manhandling, oh I'm sorry, woman handling Sakai. Absolutely, she is woman handling him and she's giving a clever slop to the face there, Ozzy. No respect for the referee as it were. And Sumi Sakai uh, was feeling that boot to the face in the corner. And uh, she's being toyed with at, that, at this point, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely being toyed. Yeah, Sumi Sakai is going to have the physical disadvantage against Ko Kyoko. Kyoko, of course, the larger competitor. And right now she's going for a submission move. Absolutely, and that submission move is uh, wearing, uh, wearing down Sumi Sakai. Uh, knee to the face there with the submission move on her. And we'll see how long uh, this lasts. I don't know how long you can take this kind of thing, but clearly at this point in the match, uh, it's been all Kyoko, as it were. Yeah, Kyoko trying to get the early victory right here. And Dyson, I want to ask you, how familiar are you with these two individuals? Well, I've seen them on the internet a lot. A lot. Usually I'm alone while watching them. Oh, no. Hey, they're, they're great competitors. I don't want any distractions when I'm watching great competitors. Well, I can only imagine what you do alone, but right now, of course, Kyoko continuing to wear down Sumi Sakai. I also want to remind everybody that these two women are both actually mixed martial arts competitors, so they're very yeah. well versed in all sorts of combat. As you can see, absolutely, a yeah, brutal submission maneuver. Well, absolutely, and Sumi Sakai holding on, showing the kind of strength and uh, tenacity she has. Uh, still a not submission move. In the center of the ring, the pressure is being put on, ladies and gentlemen. Sumi Sakai is feeling it here. Sakai is going to taking photographs, as it were. <laughs> yeah, I that's, like it. that's just disrespect shown to her opponent, Sumi Sakai. Kyoko pulling the hair as well. I think Kyoko is just toying with Sumi right now. Oh, uh, you know, you can call it toying. What she's doing is asserting her dominance. Absolutely, and the psychological dominance. Uh, uh, using the psychological tactics, as it were taking photographs as she has her opponent and now they'll have to break that tug there uh, excuse me they'll have to break that uh, hold there as uh, Sumi Sakai made her way over to the rope there and, uh, that right knee and there she goes right after the right knee absolutely like a tiger stalking its prey going off to the weak knee there and she'll go and work on that knee again a kick to the face there I don't see Sakai recovering from this she's getting sent back to Japan with a broken leg she very well may be Kyoko just targeting that leg and Sumi Sakai can barely, she can only get to her knees, she can't even get to her feet, but she's trying to fight back, firing right hands into the midsection of Kyoko. Right, right cross to the face with no effect, there's another blast to the chest there. And uh, our referee is, uh, look, uh, she's, she's absolutely unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, this woman does not feel pain. She's not taking bloody thrashes by Sumi Sakai. All right, back to the face. Oh. <laughs> unbelievable. Kyoko taking it all in and giving it right back. Yeah, Kyoko off the rope. Sumi Sakai catches her with a drop kick. Perfectly. And, and you see Kyoko tries for a clothesline. Sumi Sakai ducks and another drop kick sends Kyoko to the canvas. Sumi Sakai is fired up. Absolutely, two perfectly executed drop kicks. Well, what that is, is her adrenaline kicking in. Because her leg is very hurt right now. If she keeps on doing these high wrist maneuvers, she's gonna find herself well she, where she was before. That's true, and Sumi Sakai up to the top rope, but the missile drop kick sends Kyoko down to the mat. Referee goes for the count. And near four, ladies and gentlemen, only a two count, but you gotta give credit to uh, Sumi Sakai. Turning this match around, 30 seconds ago, she was being bloody thrashed around the center of the ring, and here she is, trying to assert dominance, as it were, against her opponent, Kyoko, both of the women locking up in the center of the ring. And I, I want to mention to you, gentlemen, I was talking to Ref Ozzy earlier, and Ref Ozzy actually told me that it's a different style to count for Japanese competitors. So if the count looks a little odd, that's why. 
and only a two count right there. Sumi Sakai with the fisherman suplex could have got the three count. Perhaps if that was traditional American counting, it would have been three. Perhaps, perhaps. Or British counting, I might add, Wesley. Uh, often in Britain, we have more than one fool, unlike uh, here in the United States of America. And uh, we used to have a ten count, as it were. Uh, submit your opponent, pin your opponent, but uh, most of the world has conformed to the standards of the United States, as it were, in most things, and uh, I think Mr. Steranko would agree that's the way to go. Is, is that right? Go. It is the way to go, but right now, Kyoko just out-wrestled Sumi. Yeah, Kyoko's got Sumi in a sleeper hold, trying to reach the ropes once again is Sumi Sakai, but Kyoko is really taking a tour. I don't know if she's going to be able to get out of this one. She's not. Kyoko's just a beast. Well, Kyoko is setting a dominance here. With the submission holds, you see the wrestling, the grappling, the Muay Thai, uh, the Japanese street fighting all on display, culminating into this wonderful display of fighting by uh, both of these women here. Mixed martial arts uh, competitors, as it were, as well as wrestling. And uh, I would hate to see a guest like Sukai to a guest to our country be be so hurt that she has to be stretched out of here. What she should do is tap. Well, she may be forced to tap. I don't see any way out of this one. Uh, Referee oh, with a count of two. Only two, though. Sumi Sakai staying alive. Only two. Uh, Sumi Sakai uh, showing the heart of a champion here. She refuses that's to surprising. submit that. Uh, Kyoko is un uh, relentless though, uh, will not uh, stop, will not uh, for one second, and there's a pin. Only a two count. Kyoko once again not able to get it done. you got to admire the heart of Sumi Sakai. Absolutely, Sumi Sakai uh, being thrashed in the center of the ring, most of the march being in submission holds, most of the march, now a kick to the face there, Whoa. bloody kick to the face, another kick to the face there, and she's thrashing her about, working her in the corner here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Kyoko is a brutal competitor, I would not want to face her in a dark alley. A couple of more of those kicks, she's gonna forget that uh, she's actually from Japan. And uh, what, what was that count there, Mr. Mr. Jace, that was quite a quick count there. Well, yeah, Wesley, I mean, I guess that's what Ref Ozzy was talking about. Maybe the count varies in different situations. This Japanese count style, that was certainly strange. Wait a second. And, and another seemingly quick count. But there's a, a roll up again too. And Sumi Sakai caught by Kyoko. Wow. Up and over, Sumi Sakai goes off the ropes, ducks under. Again, up, and there's a Hurricane wow. Rana pinning combination. Oh, still only two. Unbelievable. Perfectly executed maneuver there. And a oh. kick to the face there. And I don't know if she can recover from that. That's it. Here it is, That's ladies it. and gentlemen. Unbelievable. You saw it here. Unbelievable. I knew she could not uh, recover from that thrashing that she gave her there. Unreal. Absolutely unbelievable. What a wonderful match she was on display here. It really was. Kyoko getting the win. Kyoko dominated most of that match. And Sumi Sakai tried to come back at the end, but Kyoko just too much for her. Yeah, I'll give Sakai this. She put up a great fight, especially towards the end of that match. What a great back and forth that was. But Kyoko, she's just too high of a mountain for Sakai to climb. Kyoko leaving the ring victorious here with her water bottle. Uh, she came into this march like uh, whatever. I'm coming in here to give someone a bloody thrashing. I got my water bottle. I don't really care what's going on.